Welcome back folks. Uh, in the previous video, we started working on creating the custom endpoints, so basically to get all of the data from the WordPress uh, for the posts, as well as images and uh, categories, author name, etc. Okay, and in this video, we're going to continue with that. And once we've created this custom endpoint, then we are going to um, go to the front end where we will use react to, uh, to display all of the post and also add pagination Okay, so let's continue from where we left So we have got this uh, function. This function is going to be called when uh, You know this hook is fired. Okay, so let's begin then. So now this Function you need to call for another function over here called register rest route Okay, and this is not a custom function, it's, pro it's provided by WordPress, it takes different parameters. The first is, what is the namespace you want to keep? So let's say I want to ke keep the namespace as this one. Uh, you can keep whichever you want, slash the version number of the REST API. Tomorrow if you're creating another version, then you can also do that. Okay, and then you need to add the route name. So we have put that dynamically on top. So it's going to pick up from here and then also an array and method will be get you could also create a post request in case if you're feeding some data but since we only need to fetch some data it's going to be get request you also need a callback function so again you need the function will be called so you can just create one so rest we can name it as rest and point handler so this is our custom function, this one. So you can name it whichever, whatever you want. So again, I will go over here uh, and just define this function, public function. Okay, and just to let you know what this does is, so basically it handles the uh, data. So it gets all of the post data, makes a get request, uh, okay, and returns an object on success uh, and is going to also handle any of the errors with the help of this callback function. Okay, and we should also put an example over here. First, we can say handle get post request. So it's a get request basically. And example would be which means at what route will it be available? So let's say your site is at http example.com. This is your WordPress site URL slash wpjson. So this is where we need to write. So we need the data in JSON format. So wpjson. Then it's going to pick up this, the namespace. And then it's going to need the route. So we define the route as posts. So just add that. And then it's going to just ask for any other information like page number. Okay, so this is kind of the format in which you want to query, you know, when you query from the front end or from any other place, uh, you know, you're gonna need to hit this URL basically. Okay, so your WordPress site URL and then this one. Okay, let's continue. So this is gonna take WP rest request versus a request and then it's going to give us the it's going to make a request variable available okay and then we need to return a response from it so that response will be returned by uh, when you actually hit this URL okay so let's say let's create an empty array as a response first and then we're going to just push all of the information that we want to return in into this empty array okay and then because we have request available so when the user you know type puts anything or or when we put anything over here like page number one or two so these are basically the params the query params so we need to get access to this so since we have the request uh, available so let's just put that here so let's name it as parameters and it has a method called get params okay so this is going to give me all the parameters so what we need to do is say post 
page number because what we need from the parameters is the page number. Now there could be more information over here as well like ABC is equal to XYZ or whatever. Uh, basically uh, this get param is going to give you all of the uh, parameters that are available here. So whatever parameters are there is going to give access to that. So currently we're only interested in the page number so we're just going to get that. So we'll say post page number and then we're going to check if this is not empty. So not empty parameters and remember it will have access to this parameter so in key value pair so I'll have it like this. Okay so if it's not empty then I'm going to get the page number value. Okay so so this will be equal to so this is the key the value will be equal to whatever has been you know put in the URL. Okay so we're going to say int wall because we want to have an integer okay and we also use the sanitized text field sanitized text field and we're just going to put this oops this whole thing right here so we sanitize and make sure we get the number else just return nothing okay Awesome. So we got the page number. We also do the error handling. So we're going to create a, an object using by instantiating the WP error class of WordPress. Okay. And then we'll say post data is equal to this get posts so basically we're going to create um, a function which is going to fetch all of the posts for us so that's why we're just saying this get post so it's going to be a function I'll just put that here for now public function get post function okay and it's going to take the page number okay so where do we have page number this is the page number that we have available I'm just going to put that there okay and then if posts found, then we're going to go ahead and get uh, feed all of the data in the response. Okay, so now let's deal with this function. Okay, so all we have to do is just get the post and we would have the page number over here. So let's set page number and let's set its default value to one. Okay, and we're going to do use the WordPress query, WP query. So WP query, we can just put like latest post by you know, say new WP query. Okay, it's going to take the arguments. So arguments, let's define the arguments on top array. Is going to take the post type and we all have got that already dynamically this post type on top the reason why we use it dynamically is that we can change it later on if you want to have it for any custom post type etc okay post status let's say publish post per page let's say one the nine post per page you can Choose a different number if you like. Fields, let's get only the IDs. If you get the IDs, of course, I mean, you should only query the things that you need. It just makes your query faster. Order by, I want to order by date. And paged, paged as well, the page number, whatever page number we're getting. Uh, so this will help us basically get uh, the post at page number so basically um, you know if it's page number two then it's going to give us all of the uh, posts that are available on the page number two okay just put update post meta cache we can set this to false and update post 
item cache false because we don't need all of these. Okay, so we got all of that. Now we also need to uh, get the post result so we can say post result. Okay, and we can just say latest post posts. Okay, and then we can just return post data post result. Okay, all right, and over here, what we can do is for now, we'll just return post data and see what we get. Right now, we're not doing any error handling, we just want to see how it looks like. So it's actually rest already this one. Okay, so we're just returning the post data. And in fact, uh, what we can do is instead we can just say new WP rest response and pass it over here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we'll go to this endpoint. So remember, what we decided was we're going to go to so my local WordPress install is at WordPress login. So consider this as like uh, your wordpress.com or whatever your wherever your site is and after that you need to add this uh, WP JSON and then your namespace version number and then the uh, endpoint base uh, so the route okay and then the page number so I want the one page number one so let's just hit it and there you go you've got the post data and you've got all of the post IDs being shown so so our query is running successfully brilliant brilliant but that's not that we want right we don't want the, just the post not post uh, ids we basically want the title the excerpt images categories uh, author name and all of that stuff so no problem uh, since we've got our custom endpoint running all we have to do is just query those things accordingly and just return the data that's how simple it's going to be okay so in the next video we're going to just uh, you know put all of our queries together so that we get the data is exactly what we need okay so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, do follow me on twitter my twitter handle is imran h sayed and uh, do follow me on github as well and do add a star to my repo okay i will see you in the next video take care bye, -bye.